Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve and graph compound inequalities. We'll go through two examples. We'll start with a compound inequality involving or, and then move on to a compound inequality involving and. Let's jump into number one, where we have negative 5w minus 2 over 8 is greater than negative 4, or 2w plus 6 is greater than 30. Now when we solve a compound inequality involving or, all we need to do is solve each inequality separately. So we need to solve negative 5w minus 2 over 8 is greater than negative 4. And then we need to solve 2w plus 6 is greater than 30. Once we solve, we can graph the solutions on a number line. Let's start by solving negative 5w minus 2 over 8 is greater than negative 4. So we need to isolate that variable of w. We need to start by undoing the division, dividing by 8. The inverse operation of division is multiplication. So let's multiply the left side by 8. That means we need to multiply the right side by 8 as well. Now the 8s on the left cancel each other out. So we have negative 5w minus 2 is greater than, and then on the right, negative 4 times 8 gives us negative 32. Now we have negative 5w minus 2 is greater than negative 32. We have multiplication and subtraction here. So we need to undo the subtraction next. The inverse operation is addition. So add 2 to the left side and the right side. The 2s on the left cancel each other out. So we have negative 5w is greater than, and then on the right, negative 32 plus 2 gives us negative 30. So now we have negative 5w is greater than negative 30. So we have multiplication. The inverse operation of multiplication is division. So we need to divide the left side by negative 5, and then the right side by negative 5 as well. Now remember, when solving inequalities, when we divide or multiply both sides by a negative, the inequality symbol flips. So on the left, these negative fives cancel each other out. W is now isolated. The inequality symbol has flipped. And then on the right, negative 30 divided by negative five gives us six, a positive six. Remember, a negative divided by a negative gives us a positive. So we have W is less than six, or, and now we need to solve 2W plus six is greater than 30. So we have multiplication and addition here. We need to undo the addition first using the inverse operation, subtraction. So subtract six from the left side. That means we need to subtract six from the right side as well. Now the sixes on the left cancel each other out. So we have two W is greater than, and then on the right, 30 minus six gives us 24. So now we have two W is greater than 24. So we need to undo that multiplication using the inverse operation division. So divide the left by two, and then the right by two as well. The twos on the left cancel each other out. So W is now isolated. W is greater than, and then on the right, 24 divided by two gives us 12. So W is greater than 12. Now we have both of our inequalities solved and we can bring this down here and write this as a compound inequality. We have W is less than six or W is greater than 12. So W can be anything less than six or greater than 12. Any number less than six or greater than 12 is a solution of this compound inequality. It will make it true. 
Now let's graph this on a number line to represent this. We will go from 5 to 13, one number to the left of 6 and to the right of 12. So let's draw out the number line. And we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now let's start with W is less than 6 as far as graphing on the number line. Now 6 is not included. So we need an open circle at six with an arrow going left, representing everything less than six. So that's W is less than six. Now we need W is greater than 12. 12 is not included. So we need an open circle at 12 with an arrow going right, representing everything greater than 12. And that's W is greater than 12. We are done. That's W is less than 6 or W is greater than 12 graphed on a number line. Let's move on to number 2. Taking a look at number 2, which is an and compound inequality, we have 4C minus 5 is greater than or equal to negative 9 and less than 7. Now, when we solve a compound inequality involving and, we can solve everything all at once, meaning we can solve both of the inequalities that make up the compound inequality at the same time. And then once we solve, we can graph the solutions on a number line. Let's start by rewriting the compound inequality, and we will solve from this. We need to look to isolate that variable of C. We have multiplication and subtraction, 4C minus 5. So we need to undo the subtraction first. The inverse operation is addition. So let's add 5 to the middle. That means we need to add 5 to the other parts of the compound inequality as well. So add 5 to the left and to the right. Now the fives in the middle cancel each other out. So we have four C is greater than or equal to, and then on the left, negative nine plus five gives us negative four, and then four C is less than, and then on the right, seven plus five gives us 12. So now we have four C is greater than or equal to negative four, and less than 12. We need to undo the multiplication using the inverse operation, division. So divide the middle by four. That means we need to divide the left and right by four as well. Now the fours in the middle cancel each other out. So C is now isolated. C is greater than or equal to. On the left, negative four divided by four gives us negative one, and C is less than, and then on the right, 12 divided by four gives us three. So C is greater than or equal to negative one and less than three. In other words, C has to be greater than or equal to negative one and less than three. So C has to work for both, satisfy both. Now let's graph this on a number line. And we will go from negative two to four, one number to the left of negative one and to the right of three. So here is our number line and we will go from negative two to four. So negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, four. Negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, four. Now we want everything greater than or equal to negative one. So negative one is included. We need a filled circle at negative one to show that. And we need everything less than three. Three is not included. So we need an open circle at three. 
Again, we want greater than or equal to negative one and less than three. So we want where these two inequalities overlap. So we want in between here. And that C is greater than or equal to negative one and less than three graphed on a number line. So there you have it. There's how to solve and graph compound inequalities. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.